So this isn't just a matter of coming in here and dumping snow everywhere. Uh, you've changed the geometry. You've removed walls. You've punched holes yeah, the, in the, the ceiling. Yeah, the have been up to some stuff, for sure. And those visual cues create that curiosity. The Fallen have been up to some stuff. <laughs> what stuff? And uh, the, com the campaign that you guys are creating, the story that you're telling with these new activities and these new worlds, uh, that's going to pay off those curiosities? Um, we, we, uh, it was really important that we, want, we took you to a new place in Rise of Iron. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, and new, new, new places to play. So uh, we wanted the player to discover that new place. And the best way to do that was to take them through a familiar place where they got to unlock all this new content. Okay. So, uh, wow, I'm stepping in through this door. We got some, uh, Again, this, is yeah. a, this is a debug build. Yeah, this is uh, a work <laughs> in progress. So you're not meant to see the luminosity here. Uh, this is something that uh, we'll correct before uh, we ship Rise of Iron. But uh, that's what happened when we pull the curtain back is you get to see what we see when something is in development. Hashtag game dev. Hashtag Game dev. So mm -hmm. we're now going to take our first step outside. And you can see that the environment has become blanketed with snow. Uh, the fallen are vandals, not just in name. They're dismantling, they're dismantling our past. Yeah, when, uh, when we talked about telling the story of the Iron Lords, uh, that those, the Iron Lords evoked uh, a certain imagery uh, to us, mm -hmm. uh, one of of warriors from the north, uh, cold, oh my. wearing winter coats, uh, bat, double-edged battle axes, um, beards. Sorry, sorry, Dish. Beards. That's great. <laughs> That's great. Okay, so without the, sans beards, uh, we we wanted the environments to uh, to to to, to um, re-evoke those same themes mm -hmm. that the Iron Lords uh, did. Just Jump up here in this relatively that. safe place. All right, I'm hold see, on. Because I've actually got some concepts that are uh, kind of a good riff on some of the things that you're talking about. So uh, if we can go back to uh, our deck, uh, you have uh, this original concept. When we first revealed Rise of Iron, we took a look at this concept. Uh, who created this again? This is Jamie Jones. Jamie Jones. Yeah. This was one of our first visions of Lord Saladin as the hero, uh, his, uh, his, his wolf companions, and uh, the breach in the wall, which we've now explored on our own. And you're talking about the heroes from the Northlands, yeah. sort of the Viking theme. And uh, we move on from that to this concept of the Plague Lands. <clears throat> so talk to me a little bit about the mood that you're looking to strike here and some of the elements that we can see on the screen. Uh, well, again, the, the idea of the Plague Lands uh, was that um, this area had been corrupted by something that you, you don't understand. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, not, um, not to give too much of the story away, but like obviously you find this place uh, we still wanted it to be relatable. We still wanted it to feel like the Cosmodrome, but one that you don't recognize. Um, so yeah. uh, this concept was a little too grim uh, because you want to you want to go to this place and you want to you want to stay there. That for a is while a little too, gloomy right? for our bright, yeah. hopeful future. Absolutely. But, but uh, the, the that large form you see in the background, um, those types of things that that evoke this emotion of discovery and fantasy, we wanted to keep that. So. But it roots us in the real world. When I see a beached tanker ship like mm -hmm. that, it's obvious to me that I'm on Earth. I'm not exploring right. some snowy wasteland f across the solar system. You know, I'm not on, uh, you know, like a, a frozen Saturn moon. I'm here on Earth, and this is where human society came you know, crushing to a halt. And it's relatable, but it's made strange over time. And even more so now that we've kind of come to think of the Cosmodrome as familiar. And you can see in the trees there, those diamond shapes. You know, we see evidence of the SIVA outbreak. But this concept is a little bit more colorful, feels a little bit more like destiny. And there's a lot more evidence of SIVA in its final form. Right, right. This, this, is, uh, this is actually really close to what we, what we sort of ended up with in, in, the, in the plague land. So, um, and, uh, and, it's, and it's pretty clear, SIVA's taken hold, taken over. Yeah. over this environment. Yeah. And you're able to add a little bit more color. Siva, the Siva stalks are red, yeah. so it, it stands out as a sort of a stark warning against the snow. It's, it's pretty um, hideous and beautiful at the same time. I mean, it feels like a technological spider web, which, you know, as somebody who hates spiders, it <laughs> definitely kind of sends, sends a shiver up my spine. And then this is not a concept. This is an actual view in game. And uh, this is where we are now. So let's uh, continue our exploration of the space. 
and uh, I'll get oriented here. And so, yeah, this is uh, th this this space is called the divide in the game. We call it internally. We call it the graveyard. Okay. Um, uh, which is now much more appropriate since it's got the uh, the old devil uh, devil walker that Indeed. you fought many 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 times. Indeed. Um, uh, and this, you know, some backstory for this space is that this was actually uh, the first place that we did an art test early on when we wanted to. Um, we knew we wanted to spend a lot of our time on the new new playland, mm -hmm. uh, but we wanted to make sure that we could capture this snowy feel over the rest of the the reprise cosmos sure. spaces. And this was our first test, so. Um, when we said that destiny would be a dynamic world, a world that would change over time, a world that would react to the things that you do, and now we're really starting to make uh, good on that promise because I can't tell you how many times I've killed that tank, and there <laughs> it finally lies dead in its final resting place. I want you guys to join me over here if you could because, uh, first of all, I need help because <laughs> something's shooting at me. And uh, second of all, we've got... Uh, an outbreak of SIVA over here. And I'd love for you to uh, come back to me. What? It's over here, D. <clears throat> here we go. I got bad guys. Oh, hurts. there you go. Okay, so talk to me about this SIVA outbreak, because this, this, these are the red tendrils that we saw in that concept. This looks to be just erupting out of the ground here. Right, so uh, the first thing is that this is, uh, is kind of how we wanted to present this to the player, where the player's discovering SIVA, they're, seeing, they're starting to see hints of it throughout the world, and then they, they kind of find the source. Um, uh, th this is, uh, we'll just say, I don't want to give too much of the story away, this is a key player on Team Evil, all right? Okay. We got, okay. Uh, and uh, one that Saladin might have a little secret about as well. One maybe of single-handedly creating a new golden age, I don't know, something, something along those lines. So, okay. So uh, SIVA is a self-replicating, machine-manipulating uh, technology. Okay, um, cool, cool. That, uh, and this was contained in Golden Age vaults deep beneath the Cosmodrome, in some places similar to where we discovered Rasputin in uh, previous right. adventures in Destiny, right. uh, but not all Golden Age technology is, is friendly or happy. Uh, in the wrong hands or under the wrong conditions, this stuff can be extremely dangerous. So it's true that a little bit of information can be dangerous. And just, this is not something you want to touch either. Yeah. So Keith, what, was, uh, what were some of the different considerations in terms of the art, art style? Because you're introducing a new design language here to show us what exactly is happening on Team Evil. <laughs> Team Evil. Uh, just, uh, yeah. Well, so, I mean, Steve is this, this uh, really interesting opportunity to explore um, a whole new design and graphical language. Mm -hmm. um, we have elements of the organic, we have elements of the synthetic, and how they blend together and work into the environment and to the combatants is, uh, is really interesting uh, visual exploration. Yeah. And we're working with design to really sell these as, these are something new, they act differently, they, they infest the world and the enemies and all kinds of things completely differently. And the, Really, also the high contrast with the colors, the SIVA nodules to the organic stuff, yeah. it's, uh, it op opens up a lot of really interesting opportunities for us. Okay. The, I mean, the, the early concepts of SIVA were about like how it manipulated things and what it looked like when it did that. Mm -hmm. uh, once we realized we wanted to propagate it in the environments and tell that story through, uh, through the, the levels, um, Adam Williams, one of the world artists, actually uh, did many mock-ups of what this could look like as it consumed yeah. the, uh, the space. So okay. uh, this is actually a product of both of those things, but Adam definitely had a big hand in what this looks like when it's cool. on the environment. All right, we're going to move on. And uh, in order to move on appropriately in style, let's do this, guys. Oh, yeah. I'm spawning my Galar wing. Show me yours. Nice. Looking mean. Well, let me see. Does it still trick? Indeed it does. Yeah, Can I stick the landing? Indeed. Check this out. I mean, go off the, uh, if I can do it. Oh, I'm gonna yes. die. No, don't <laughs> die. Come on, don't die in your stream. Don't die in your stream. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. Okay. No, I'm not dead. Can I make it back up? Look at this. I'm not supposed to be down here. This is dev tools. Dev tools at work. How did you get down there? I don't know. You need a rope? 
I sure do. <laughs> Hang on. I think I can get back up there. If you're watching at home, you will not be able to come down here during the actual game. I need something to kill me. Uh, here, I can help with that. Can you help with that? <laughs> no, I can't. Kill me! <laughs> can the gallery wing fly? Can you go to the uh, debug cam? I don't know. You know, do that? You can do it. Hang on. Yeah. Help is on the way. It. Help is on the way. So, uh, this is live. Why don't you guys uh, spawn oh, your yeah. Galar wings? All right. And uh, do some tricking. Do that trick we did yesterday where you, uh, where you do a sweet jump off the uh, cannon of the uh, spider. Oh, yeah. Tank well, there. you got to line this one up perfectly here. Let's see if I can do this. Um, yeah. Uh, but I didn't, I didn't get the trick out. Man, this looks. All right, I'm back topside. So we're good to go again. Nice work, Keith. Nice shiny. Woo. And I am going to have to reinvert myself. Oh, fail. Okay. okay. Uh, we're good to go. So uh, let's take ourselves further through the space here. Uh, all right. Well, so yeah, go ahead. I can see a lot of hints. Yes. You, know, you guys are you guys are dropping me clues about the devil splicers. Yeah. And uh, they're they're hacking apart the environment here. And uh, <clears throat> what's the idea there? Like, what's the what's the design goal when you're when you're changing the environment with these little clues well, here? Uh, well, the the intent here is that I mean, this is what we're driving right now is part of the uh, part of the campaign, and we're. It's all about discovery. I mean, yeah. the player's discovering what, what is actually going on. And so uh, we wanted to tell that story as much as we could in the environment. Um, uh, it also is an opportunity to change up the environment as well, like we were talking about before in the breach. So we can cut things in half. We can, we can have things fall over and just basically get a, a different encounter space where we, where we want. Mm -hmm. And to give me little clues to make me curious about what's going on here. Now we can see that the devil splicers, who uh, rule the plague lands, they're also here. So they've spilled over the borders. Let's see, are they uh, are they immune to a storm? No, indeed. So my warlock <laughs> brothers and sisters, you are good to go in this new adventure. We can see they have no respect for the past. And uh, they've even opened some new gameplay spaces for us. All right, yeah. This, you can see this big crack in the wall here for cut, if you will. Um, so what would we find in here? Uh, well, let me, I'll, I'll go take a look. Yeah, I know yeah. we're not supposed to go in there here. Let's no, take my Han Solo is, moment. Yeah, this is your oh. Han Solo moment. <laughs> uh, OK, Deej, that was, that was a bad idea. Let's get, uh, let's get out of here. Let's go, yeah, let's this, go this way. By order of Commander yeah. Zavala, this is not still a forbidden look. zone. Not going to look. So you can see the Devil Splicers are just teaming in there. We've got another SIVA outbreak right here. But uh, we are not to explore this domain today. Uh, you can see the Shanks are still hard at work opening up uh, the geometry and uh, creating a new frontier for adventure. <laughs> and uh, this is where we'll send the Guardians on September 20th. Okay. But not on this day. I felt that rumble. I think that's a sign to go. Yeah, is that... Yeah, yeah no, we're no, gonna get. We're gonna. We're, we're gonna are, get we are worked. leaving. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're going to disengage, but uh, that will be some new places for the players to explore later on this fall. So, huh. so now we are retracing our steps. If you're familiar with the Cephex Prime Strike, you followed this path right. before. Mm -hmm. But let's come through here. And uh, let's see what's different. So rally to me, Guardians. And uh, lead the way. I think we should make Keith lead. Keith, you're on point. <laughs> uh, you're on point, Bachman. Uh, all right. <laughs> So this is yeah. We got a lot of non-final lighting. Oh, going of course, on yeah. Here. These are yeah. 
these uh, are all a work in progress. Yep. And uh, while the steps that we just took were very much as we remember them, it doesn't take long for you to open up a new space for us to be able to play. So the Plague Lands isn't the only thing that's new in the Cosmodrome. We also have an opportunity to, hello, I don't oh, want any oh, of that. Oh. Get it, get Watch it. out, get here it comes. It. Saved your life. Like any good fire team does. Is the area secure? The area's not secure. I'll try going this way. No, I'm not. Are right, you guys going down the stairs? I'm taking the new way. No, we take the new way. Yeah, take come the new on. way. Come on, we're guardians. We explore. I got an invisible guy. To, here we go. He's down. I got the right. So you're, you're doing all sorts of interesting things to change this up. You're caving in the roof. You're letting us carve new paths through the landscape. You with me? I'm going to let you all Yeah, lead. yeah, we're here. Like I said, like the, yeah, the World Art Team has had a lot of fun um, crafting these spaces. Oh, yeah. Whoa. More invisible bad guys. Bad, bad, bad. Yeah, they're all over the place. You got guys on your six? Thank you. Okay, let's press on through. Hey, what's up? What's up, new bad guy? Here you go. Get him, boys. So we've been in this space before. Uh, fighting Hive, fighting wizards, fighting fallen captains. But there's a new sheriff in town. And they have all sorts of wonderful new toys. Stop, just stop. Everybody stop it. I'm trying to lead a guided tour here. You're all being a bunch of jerks. Everybody just knock it off. There we go. I didn't say any names. I just said everybody stop. All right, that's better. I just need some peace and quiet. I'm trying to make a point here, because check this out. How many times have we hacked this with our ghost? It's become hacked by something else now. So what am I seeing here? Uh, that looks Siva. That definitely right looks yeah, Siva. So that does not look friendly, whatever it is. So Siva is not just something that wrecks the landscape. Uh, it looks like it can coalesce into a form of intelligence. Uh, yeah, the, uh, I mean, it, it doesn't, it still, it needs a, a mind to control it. Okay. Um, again, without getting too much into the surprises, but uh, it's, um, uh, it, it, it does the, the bidding, if you will. Okay, we're gonna uh, press on. Oh, here we go. We got a bad servitor. I'm just here we go. He's not so bad anymore. Teases all over the place, Dee. Aren't you? Aren't you? <laughs> Look at him, like... Nothing said. So, do the Siva have an ally? Is there? Does uh, Siva have an ally? Does Siva have an ally? Like, do different factions of Fallen fight each other? Uh, do uh, you know the Devil Splicers have anyone that they're peaceful with, or do they just want to consume everything? That's a good question. I think uh, you should ask Keith that question. <laughs> Keith, you're on the spot. You're in the oh, hot seat. Oh, Keith. all right. Yeah. Uh, wait, uh, here we go. Um, I'm used to seeing Hive in this space. Right. So I mean, if, the Devil's uh, Blasters yeah. are, uh, they're against everybody. They're their own thing. They're out to take over everything. And yeah. they're starting with the Cosodrone and Siva. And they're incredibly invasive. And uh, at least when I play, pretty darn difficult. See, I cleaned that up nicely, right? You did. Yeah, that was great. You did indeed. We've called the, the splicers many things in, internally. So. When we've encountered Hive in a lot of these different spaces, and uh, they have completely, the devil splicers have come in and made this their own spot now. Yeah, they've pushed oh, yeah. the Hive around uh, to where the Hive are now. Um, you're going to find the Hive in places you never saw them before because they don't, they don't feel safe. Because they've been displaced from yeah. their, uh, they've been displaced from their territory, from the places yeah. where they like to hide. Please keep me alive. Please help me, help me, help oh my me. God, look at that. Keep me safe. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is bad. There's a, a interesting visual design difference here, Keith, that I'd like to call out. Where we fought the fallen. Uh, the fallen shoot at you. Their weapons are very distinctive. 
But uh, when you see the uh, fallen captain profile, and that fallen captain has become a devil splicer, mm. it's uh, pretty immediately apparent, right? Yes, I mean, not only have they started to use, oh, wait, I don't know. I don't know if, if if you don't if you don't I think mean, we are, don't say it. No, I mean not only how are they using this is where SIVA, you make me talk about it. So. I know, right? Uh, not only are they using SIVA for the environment and all their evil ends, they're starting to modify themselves with it, and yes. that's given them some rather unique abilities. And we and but just even if if they're right. shooting these red lasers at you, that's immediately a visual cue to tell you that you're not fighting the enemies that you've known in the past. No, and they've got a lot of tricks up their sleeves. Yeah, you've probably already seen it. You've noticed a couple of, uh, of little uh, seekers seeking after you, after yeah. you kill guys and yeah. things like that. So Siva's got some new tricks. And uh, even the servitors are in on the action. Yeah, absolutely. That's just not fair, man. Look at this. He, his, his, the rounds after he yeah. fires them are even adapting to my movements. So these guys are not... Where is he? I'll come if help you. Have, if you have a playbook for fighting the fallen, it's time for some rewrites. Oh yeah. That guy. Cool. Well, this is. Uh, these are not the only environments that you've changed surrounding the plague lands, and we've seen one of the entrances into the new spaces that we are going to explore. And. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, like I was saying before. I mean, we, we wanted to spend most of our time on all the new, on all the new spaces, um, and uh, and so being able to to craft new experiences in these old spaces um, was uh, definitely a goal. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but uh, it's uh, you know I can't wait till people get to see what's behind that, yeah. what's behind that crack in the wall. Mm -hmm. And this is not everything. So this, this is not the only uh, area in the Cosmodrome that you've repurposed or redesigned for Rise of Iron. Uh, this is just a taste. These are yeah. a few of the spaces that you'll go into. Um, but we want to leave things for the players to discover. Uh, this is the, uh, the fine line that we straddle when we're uh, introducing you to a new adventure, is we want to pique your curiosity. We want to show you some of the things that you're going to get to do. But we want to leave these things for you to discover on your own. Uh, so it's been fun to come in here and to show you the way the Cosmodrome has changed and maybe set you to thinking, what's the Plague Lands going to be like? Because as macabre as this is and as different as this is, and as much as the fallen Devil Splicers have made this environment a lot more dangerous, the Plague Lands are much, 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 much worse, dangerous. right? Yes. So I think we're going to stop our exploration here. Oh, we don't get to go through that? No, we're not going to go through that. Uh, I need to leave things for the players to do. Uh, they want me to show them everything today.